Good morning, everyone. I'm very glad here to present our recent work on uh, detecting uh, observed classes in graph field short learning. Uh, my presentation including the following four parts. Uh, graph field short learning is a typical uh, application of meta learning. Meta learning uh, decomposes the classification tasks into multiple uh, meta tasks, and there are two types of meta tasks. Meta training tasks and uh, meta test task. Each meta task uh, contains uh, uh, two sample mini sites, uh, including a support site and a query site. Uh, generally, uh, a graph field shot uh, classification model learns over diverse uh, meta training tasks and transfers the learned knowledge to the target meta tasks. We generally assume that samples in the support set and the query set share common classes, uh, so that uh, samples in the query set can be correctly predicted by learning the distribution of the samples in the support set. We call samples following the same distribution as in uh, in distribution samples. Uh, however, in practice. The query set may in the in the query set in the meta test tasks may contain some samples that do not belong to any classes in the support set. Uh, for example, uh, a few recently uh, published paper may be about an emerging topic, and this topic never seen uh, before by the model. So it uh, if we uh, fed these uh, papers to the classifier. It will uh, arbitrarily uh, assign a label to these papers, and these labels cannot uh, reflect the topic of this paper. Another example is uh, some rare disease uh, that have never been uh, observed before. We call these samples as out of distribution samples, uh, also OOD sample. Uh, this brings uh, two challenges. Uh, first, the existence of OD samples uh, could harm the classification of normal samples. Uh, second, we have no ground truth which uh, samples are OD samples in the training uh, in the training task. So we cannot train a classification uh, uh, classification model. Uh, based on the uh, OOD samples, uh, this our uh, this uh, this our most difficult uh, work. Uh, we propose a new uh, uh we propose a new uh, framework uh to solve these problems. Uh, our our method include two phases. Uh, the first phase is a regular uh, procedure. Uh, for a uh, procedure of uh, few short learning, uh, we construct uh, um, uh, meta training tasks and we include the support set and the query set and train the, uh, and train a graph, uh, a graph neural network and a classifier, uh, based on a cross entropy loss. Uh, the second phase is uh, our key contribution. Uh, in this phase, uh, we select out uh, a known class as uh, as artificial samples, and we add the, those artificial sample artificial OOD samples uh, into the query set uh, in a, uh, into a proportion of meta test tasks, meta training tasks. Sorry, and uh, we train uh, we train the uh, uh, Graph neural network and the uh, class uh, classifier. Uh, differently, before we uh, uh, fed uh, samples into the classifier, uh, we uh, first fed them into an OOD discriminator, which can uh, discrimin uh, distinguish OOD samples and fill uh, fill them out. We can also uh, know the performance, evaluate the performance of the OD discriminator 
uh, because we know the ground truth of those OOD samples. And uh, we design a joint loss uh, based on the uh, OOD loss and uh, the classification loss and fed the, and use the it to train the uh, uh, GNN encoder. So the learned node embeddings can um, can be suit, uh, suitable for classification and uh, suitable for OOD dis uh, detection. Uh, we say the uh, we said that uh, we say the procedure of adding uh, OOD samples into the query set as uh, send mixing uh, because it's very like we uh, put some uh, thing dirty into a clean uh, uh, clean sand. Uh, fortunately, we know the OOD uh, we know the uh, labels of OOD samples, so we can evaluate the performance of OOD discriminator. Uh, and the performance is fed into uh, fed uh, to the uh, uh, GN encoder. Uh, we design two uh, OOD discriminators: uh, a distance-based approach and a probability-based approach. The distance-based approach uh, assumes that a query set, a query sample, is an OOD sample. If its distance to all the class prototypes are much greater than uh, uh, than the support radius of all known class, the probability based approach assumes that OD sample uh, a query set is an OD sample if its ability of being uh, any support uh, any support classes are small. Oh, sorry. Uh, for the uh, distance-based approach, we first uh, calculate the prototype of uh, each class and uh, then uh, uh, calculate the uh, maximum uh, distance from any support uh, to, the, uh, to the prototype as a uh, uh, radius. And uh, a query set is supposed to be an OOD sample if its distance is much larger than a threshold. Uh, the probability-based uh, uh, approach, for the probability-based approach, we uh, use the uh, softmax function uh, to the on the uh, distances to uh, to the prototype and to calculate their probabilities. And the maximum probability uh, of being a, a normal class is calculated. If the maximum uh, probability is uh, is small uh, is less than a threshold, uh, we call it as an OD sample. Uh, we conduct our experiments based on four uh, data sites. Uh, including uh, Amazon uh, closing Amazon Electronic and two uh, citation graphs, Cora and uh, DBLP. We conduct our uh, experiments by uh, selecting out uh, one class as uh, OD sample uh, as OD sample and uh, the uh, and the following uh, and the re remaining uh, uh, samples are uh, used to uh, tr uh, to train and test uh, a normal uh, few short learning model. We use two metrics: accuracy and micro F uh, one score uh, for uh, classification accuracy performance, and uh, we use uh, AURC as the uh, to evaluate the performance of OOD detection. We compared with the four uh, baselines and uh, the result show that our, uh, uh, our uh, classification model is uh, uh, achieves the best performance. Uh, uh, notably, the probability-based approach is uh, uh, it, uh, Performs better than the distance-based approach. Uh, we also evaluate the OOD uh, uh, discriminator, the performance of the uh, OOD discriminators. 
The results show that our uh, discriminators uh, achieved the, the best performance. Uh, we also evaluated the sensitive, uh, sensitivity of the hyperparameters, and we uh, we click. We uh, we also conduct ablation experiments to evaluate the uh, effects of uh, each uh, uh, module, and uh, we also evaluate the uh, effects of uh, uh, different distance measurements. Uh, the result uh, shows that uh, uh, shows that uh, shows that uh, send mixing the scheme send mixing the scheme uh, is affects the performance uh, dramatically. We also conduct a case study uh, to show the effects of send mixing. Uh, the up figure shows that uh, shows uh, results without uh, sand mixing. Uh, that is, we uh, uh, no artificial or D samples are added, and the uh, model is trained on clean data. Uh, it is shown that the uh, shown that class one and class uh, zero are closely uh, uh, encoded encoded. Uh, the bottom uh, uh, figure shows the uh, shows the result uh, with the uh, OD samples are added uh, added. Uh, the result shows that the uh, class one and the class zero uh, are po uh, are po far away, and the, the samples which uh, within each uh, each class are more closely uh, encoded. So the classification model can perform the, uh, much better. So let's conclude uh, uh, our work. Uh, we propose a novel uh, graph field short learning framework to equip the existing graph field short classic models with the ability of OD detection. We propose a send mixing uh, scheme to solve the code start training problem. Uh, we developed uh, we developed two OOD detection discriminator and designed to create bounding law functions to optimize the encoder based on the performance of OOD discriminators. Uh, we also conduct experiments to evaluate the effect, uh, effectiveness of the pro, pro, uh, proposed method. The experiment result verify the uh, effectiveness of our method. Okay, uh, that's all. Thank you very much.